All right, guys, here is that Ikea Marabo in that dark gray color. You can see it's got the wooden legs on there, not the metal ones. I went and picked this one up for... Welcome back to Money Growth Academy, guys. In this episode, we've got a lot going on. We flip two couches for huge profits, and then we have a mystery item in here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to flip something like this mystery item and how to find something like this mystery item in your area. Guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss anything on this because in these three weeks that we've been running this series right here, zero to 20K, we've made about $2,000 of pure profit. So we're gonna move ahead and get right into it. I went and picked this one up for 150 bucks. The lady wanted $200 for this one, but I offered her 125 knowing that we would meet at 150, which I was totally happy with because I didn't need to do really much with this at all. If you can see, it is super nice. I mean, there's just a little strings like this that I'm just gonna snip off. Um, maybe some of this little stuff down here, shave off a little bit. But other than that, she took really good care of this couch. Uh, the couch is a $600 couch at Ikea. We'll see how much we can get here in this market, but I do like it because it's got that mid-century modern look to it. It's gray, so that checks off two boxes for me and it's clean, so that's another box. I might just vacuum this down. I might take the Bissell wet vacuum over this just so that I can pull out some of the perfumey smell that is in this, but that's just a very light, light pull that I would have to do with that, not much. So this one, we should be able to just clean up real fast, flip around, get some pictures, and sell. To get some of these peelings off in this fuzz, what we can use is a deep peeler, or we can use what Caden was using in the couch flipping series, which was a Manscaped trimmer. Now, if you don't have a Manscaped trimmer, you don't wanna buy something like that, you can just use a wall peanut. This one's plugged in, and all I have to do, and you can see it's pulling it right off. So you don't need a Manscaped trimmer to do this. Go down. Pick one of these up at a thrift store. They always have these around, or you guys can buy them off Amazon, super cheap. I'll put a link down below for a wall peanut that you can buy. Walmart has them, Target has them. If you just wanna order it off Amazon, I'll put in a link down below for one of these guys. But I'm just gonna clean up these edges and then do that quick vacuum on here. All right, this was a beautiful couch. I mean, we didn't have to do much work to it besides just shaving off a little of that lint around where it was getting rubbed a lot. And then we did a vacuum. And then, I, like I said, I wanted to pull out that perfume smell. So we did a quick Bissell vacuum on this. We didn't have to do much to it at all. Staged it in some great lighting for some beautiful pictures. And then I threw it up for $500, guys. For $500. Now, I bought the couch for $150. This couch sells for like $600 something on Ikea's website. But... I wanted to see if I could get top dollar for it, and sure enough, I was able to get $500 for this couch. That's $350 of pure profit that I made back in a matter of days, guys. So that was about a three-day span. So I put my money out there for $150, came back, made $350. I don't know where else in the world you can go to get returns like that. All right, guys, let's talk about this desk right here. Why I got it, because it's not a couch, but there was some money to be made in this. Now, this is something that I want you guys to think about as you're flipping furniture and couches is I picked this desk up for free, okay? There was a week where the couches were moving very slowly. And so I was like, man, I gotta have something to create some revenue. So I went and found this desk that was for free online. And I don't know much about desk, but it was a solid oak desk that someone wanted to move. Now, the reason they were giving it out for free is because this little drawer face right here, the front was broken off and it's got a bunch of scratches and imperfections on the top. So I thought, you know what, maybe I could fix that down there, um, sand off the top and then restain this and sell it. But couch is picked up again and I just don't have the time nor want to put in the energy to fix this baby up. But let me show you something right here. It was made by Leopold Company, Burlington, Iowa. Now, the comps on this desk that I found online, this is a $3,000 desk that it goes for when it's in perfect condition, obviously. But it's a mid-century desk. So what I did is I just took some nice pictures of it. I'll post those pictures up right here. Show the drawers, everything. And I just needed more space here in the workshop. So I had to get this out of here. I didn't want to take it to the dump or just to the thrift store because I knew there had to be somewhere out, 
because I knew there had to be someone out there looking for something like this. I found a gentleman who's becoming a math teacher. He's about to start here in a few months, and he was looking for an awesome, iconic desk to have in his classroom, and he wants this one. So he just stopped by. I listed it for only $120. That's better than nothing. I got it for $0. I don't have to put any work energy into this. I haven't since I picked it up. So I took a free listing, turned it into $120, pure profit, and it's going to go to a good home, and we're re-upcycling. So this is a win for everyone. Just showing you, though, that if you can't find couches, you can start moving to alternative furniture to try to flip. Like I said, I was going to sand this one, refinish it and do it, but the couch is picked up again. I found better margins on that. So I'm moving off away from this one. Not going to invest time into it. Just going to get my money. All right, we got this thing listed up. We got some nice, pretty pictures of it from all kinds of angles. I was very particular to show the damage with this one. I found someone. I lowered the price. I had it about like $200. Then I was just like, you know what? I need to get it out of the garage. So I priced it at $120, and an individual ended up wanting it. He was a math teacher and wanted it for his class. He also wanted a fun summer project to rehab and work on. So this was the perfect mix. So guys, there is always someone out there willing to buy something it's just a matter of how long can you sit on it and hold on to it luckily for me on this one i was able to move it pretty fast but there was some good value in it because i had checked the marketplace before i knew what was selling in my market so do your homework do your research and you might find other items in your area besides couches that you can flip for a profit now that once again was $120 of pure profit. We picked this up for free and it was right around the corner from my house. So I didn't have to drive far to go get it. All right, guys, we got a brand new couch. Check this out. Set of two. This is a beautiful couch. I'm gonna put up the pictures here of what this goes for on Costco. We're gonna pick it up for $650. We're gonna see how much we can flip this one. I mean, it is still wrapped in its packaging right on the dang pallet. We got an awesome connection. So we're gonna get this one loaded up and then I'm gonna show you guys all the details on this one. This thing was a behemoth to get in the house and take pictures of, but it photographed very well. I always like you see in these photos, I always use a little staging, a lot of natural light, and I love taking up those close-up pictures. I try to get some angle pictures on there to really show the dimensions so someone could see how it could work in their space, and that way it's just not 2D dimensional. So get creative with the pictures that you take, and then take an up-close picture of the fabric. That's going to save you a lot of time because it's going to allow the right buyer to come to you. They're not going to be asking you a lot of questions about what does the fabric look like what's the color like and then with this one once we did all that we got this one listed right up on the facebook marketplace and it went pretty fast all right guys this is one of our craziest and fastest flips we had this couch for a total of about 10 hours all right and i ended up only putting in about 15 minutes of work i did have to vacuum the couch and then i did hit it with a very light pass with that that cleaner because i wanted to make sure if i was selling this for top dollar that someone was going to get that quality and that there were zero blemishes on there guys like i said we had this for 10 hours we spent 650 on this couch we just full, sold it for a thousand dollars plus 45 dollars in delivery so i'm going to go ahead and take this get it loaded up and it's kind of still a little damp in the corners. So I'm going to have to explain that to the lady because I posted it just about 10 minutes ago. And boom, just like that, someone picked it up on Facebook Marketplace and wants me to deliver it to them immediately. They already sent over the money. So I've got that in my Venmo account. So we're going to put these right back in. We're going to put those white covers on top of these. Then I'm going to load them into the trailer, get these dropped off, get that money, and move on to the next couch. Now you guys have seen that you don't just have to flip couches. You can find other odd random items that are selling hot in your market, guys. For me, for this moment, this month, it was that desk that was selling. I'm going to show you guys another mystery item coming up that I just purchased that will be in the next episode. Guys, let's get down into the numbers, though, because you guys always want to know those numbers. Before I do that, though, let me mention that last episode, episode two, I showed you guys how to sew together a couch, all right? How to sew a couch cushion if it's ripped, and that's called a blind stitch or blind seam or a ladder stitch. So I put a link down below for that. I also put a link down below in the comments, guys, for some of the chemicals that I'm using when I'm treating these couches, the wall peanut that I mentioned in this episode for trimming off that peeling that happens, and I put some other 
links in there such as the hose attachment. So guys, check out those links down below, especially if you're one of those people in the last episode that was asking questions about that. Guys, let me know too, what questions do you guys have? I want to answer those for you guys. I want you guys to be out there grinding and hustling. You guys are my hustle nation and I wanna make it happen for you. So drop a comment down below of what it is you guys want to see. Also let me know if there's other hustles, why we're doing this series that you wanna see. Okay, back to the numbers now. Now that Ikea couch, we bought it for $150, sold it for $500. That was a $350 profit for us on that couch. The next item that we had up on the list was that Ryder's Leopold desk. Now we got that desk absolutely free, all right? It was 100% free. Easy to pick up. I'm not even gonna count the gas because it was right around the block, all right? So don't, don't get all petty with me on that one. It was $120 pure profit on that desk. The last item we had was that Costco Mason sectional piece. That one we bought for $650, the most we've spent during this series for a couch, all right? So I was a little nervous at first, but we spent $650 on that couch. We went and then sold it for $1,000, plus we got $45 for delivery on that. That brought us to $395 of profit. So for this episode, that brings us to $865 in episode two of pure profit, guys, after expenses are deducted. So that brings the grand total of the channel to $1,972 for the zero to 20K challenge that's going on. Guys, we're just gonna keep moving ahead and making that money, showing you guys that it is possible flipping couches and furniture. Guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button, and if you aren't already a subscriber of the MGA Investing Channel, head over to that channel and listen to Dee talk about how to multiply your money. See you guys right in this next video right here.